Good morning and welcome back to Gunny TV. It's about 8.30 in the morning. I'm out here on the range already because um, in 30 minutes, I'm about to shoot a little. Today I have the Walther PPS. So this is my wife's pistol and it came like this. We bought it pretty cheap and it had this Holosun says the HS507K X2 which is pretty cool because it fits in there perfectly. It has coexisting sights, so that's pretty nice. My wife's not 100% sure about the pistol, but I will tell you the pros and the cons that I see on this pistol and why my wife is not 100% comfortable with it and why we might choose another one. But this should not keep you from trying it out and testing it because I think it's a great pistol. You guys know I love Walther and um, there's almost nothing Walther put out that I don't like. This one, I can say it's, it's it looks weird, right? It looks a little weird, but still it feels amazing. So we have subcompact EDC type pistol. PPS is made for concealment, which you can see it's really, really thin, mostly because of its single stack. So single stack gives you one disadvantage. It's the less capacity of ammo but also it's a nice concealment so there's your pro and there's your con we'll start with the cons first because i think we need to get this out of the way and then talk about the good things in this pistol so another con here um, which i do not like is no picatinny rail as always decide for yourself if you really need a picatinny rail for a light on a concealed pistol like a small one like this you see it's not really big and also, this should be your absolute backup, backup pistol. In case you cannot wear anything else, this will be your only pistol. I, for myself, if I have only one pistol on me, I would like to have the opportunity like, to put a light on it and um, have a sight on there. You don't really need a sight, let's be honest. This one you can shoot easily without a sight um, and I will prove you so. I think the sights on this one are even better than on my PD, uh, PDP. Be sure that like a PPS does not have that many after parts like others like PPQ or PDP because they're putting a lot of effort in the PDP series and stuff. So if you um, not like the idea of having a single stack magazine with less capacity which on the big one on the um, on the one with the base plate that makes the grip be bigger and fit perfectly to my hands. Um, I think it's seven rounds that fit in the magazine. So seven plus one, or you use the flush one. So this one ends up here and this only has six plus one. So it's seven in total. But even here with my small fingers, you can see that my pinky is underneath the grip. With the base plate, it definitely has space for my pinky. But overall, Walther, just like always, has nice grips. I think it has the nicest grips ever. It's super comfortable. And what they also did right here is the slight serrations. So if you look up on it from above, they're not standing out, but I think they're aggressive enough so you can really easily manipulate. So this is probably no effort, so really nice. The Holosun we got on this when we ordered it, I think the Holosun is broken. It runs forever, we cannot shut it off. Maybe um, that was the cheap point on the pistol. We got it for around around 300 bucks, so you can get them for 200 something, and that's pretty nice to start off with a pistol that's really good, but on the other hand, has a little less capacity of ammo. Bisschen tief. Ja, schießt bisschen tief. So setting it apart is really easy, just like most of them. This one has a lever where you can pull down 
and get your slide off. The spring does look a little different. Um, I will film over that stuff again so you can see it in the background. So it has a small spring that goes into a big one. And also the barrel on this looks really different from almost all the other 9mm um, pistols that I have. Other than that, easy to assemble and disassemble. So you can't do anything wrong here. That's the good thing. So it's also a good uh, pistol for shooting beginners. Just put it on top, rack the slide, it's in there. Okay, let's talk about some cool features here that I think make um, this pistol a perfect carry pistol for people that just started carrying and are not 100% familiar with, with handguns or, or sure, like um, safe in, in handling them. So once you put it in, you release the trigger, uh, you release the slide, that cocks your trigger. Before that, the trigger is in the back. So if you wanna carry with an empty chamber, your trigger will be in the back. So this is one part to make sure that you do not have a round in the chamber. Yep. The trigger pull itself, really nice and really, really crisp. Let's hear it together. I do the reset and now listen. So this is super quiet. I think the trigger reset on this one is a little too quiet and, and it's not really responsive. So you really have to be careful to find the trigger reset, especially because it's coming really, really late. So you have to travel to the front a lot until you find the trigger reset. So almost, yeah, almost half of it. So another thing you have on this pistol is an indicator on the back that shows you if a round is loaded. So if nothing is loaded, you have a, uh, an empty hole. So, okay, let's let's make clear. It does not show that a, a round is chambered, but more so it, it shows you the firing pin is cocked. So now you look in here, I wreck the slide, and you have that pin sticking out a little in the back. And nothing, uh, uh, and something else that's really interesting here, if you now pull the trigger, that pin is gonna come out to the back. So you can also put your thumb on there and like feel, oh, now the firing pin is coming out. There's some, maybe around in the chamber. It doesn't keep you from, you cannot press, press back like, Oh yeah, you can. So if you really hold it like this, I can't even, I can't shoot. All right. I don't know if that's a safety feature they put in. So you have to, you, you can put your thumb on it and like press against the trigger pull. I don't know, but to travel, click, there it is. Shows you now there's nothing in there. Your trigger sets in the rear. Yeah, and it's pretty much empty.
Another thing I think is okay um, is the mag release button. It's okay. It's like not bad. It's it's a little a little hard to find, but like it's not the worst. So for me, I can easily pull the trigger, uh, pull the the button, and it flips out the magazine, which is nice. Almost every um, Walther handgun has this. They eject the magazine really fast. Yeah, that's something that's not bad, but could be better. It could be uh, a better release button. And something that's maybe a little harder to use is that slide release button. That's really thin, it's small, and uh, push it down. It's so hard. So that's really, really hard. You have to wreck your slide while doing this. So it's easier. Now let's go on the range and show you how good this pistol shoots on uh, a few different distances and find out if you should start carrying one of those concealed subcompact pistols. We had it for almost four or five months now. We've been out there on the range a couple of times. Never filmed every single session, but like a few videos I can show you how we shot on the other range. I will start with this magazine here because uh, it's gonna be a little harder and that's what I would use first for um, close engagements and having this to stabilize my hand even more for the further distances. We're gonna do 10 yards, two shots on the Bravo zone and one shot on the Alpha. After each distance we come back and our hits so we see how that small barrel performs on the distances. Let's go. 10 yards. I immediately have the problem again something's off with the red dot again. First shot was aiming here on 10 yards. I should really hit here, not there. And the second shot went off a lot. Same with this one. So we have the same issue again. Left low, beginner's problem or red dot that's just not in sight picture. I will do, I will redo and set the red dot right because I think this is the issue. Okay, after reviewing uh, the red dot, I don't think there should be a red dot problem or an issue. So it's gonna be me. Let's do it again. That should prove that it's the issue was me. Yeah, I got this one out, but we hit the alpha and everything seems to be on the same line. Okay, for now we gotta count. So this is, I would say it's out of the um, Bravo zone. So we got one and one. Let's go over to 15 yards. Should I have been wrong? Because now that stuff is all out. It's all out. One, two, three. And it's not even near. I did 15 yards. This should not happen. I think there's definitely something wrong with the red dot. Man. These red dots come becoming like a real hazard now. On my pistol and on this pistol too. 
we have a lot of issues with the red dots. Oh no, this one was in. I forgot to put this one on. Okay, and then it's one. This one's out already. Wow. Okay. Should we continue? I think yes. Yeah, super left. It's so far out of target. Even more. And this one went apart. Okay guys. This definitely has to change. I will have to do something about the red dot. And to prove to you that this is not me fucking up every shot right now, I have that old, uh, old footage that shows you how well we shot when we got the pistol, but like this and that, and this. Okay, this is kind of like the right angle, so I maybe pulled too hard. This could be my problem, but these two, by aiming here, should not land there. This should not happen, no. There's no reason to continue this, so scratch that. As long as the red dot doesn't work, this is bullshit. All right, the 50 yards. Let's see if we're even on the target, because this is what really um, interests me uh, the most right now. Can we still hit the target at 50 yards? Um, Let's try, see what's wrong with this red dot afterwards. So as you can see, after the last shot, my slide did not stand in the front. Also on this pistol, I grabbed too tight, which my thumb rests on here, so the slide will always go to the front and not lock back. So this is not an issue of the pistol. This is just me putting my thumb on there to have more contact to the pistol. I know many people pointed this out already. <laughs> it just happens, it's naturally, I don't know. I maybe have to take care of my thumb more and uh, see where I put it. But the way I, I just grip the gun, it always does that. Okay, let's see. Did we even hit the target? I did not see any shot miss or hit the dirt, but, oh yeah, it's down there. Here's one, way low. There's the second one. And there's the third one. So this is the Alpha. Way off to the left. This one was okay. Still, but this one is too low. So no hits. All of this, this is just bullshit. I don't know why I came up with this. I knew from the beginning something will be wrong. Um, but, just to, for good measurement, we do this with my pistol too. A, B, A, B. A, B, A, B. To show you what a red dot can make, can do on this distance. All right, 10 yards with the PDP and a red dot that I just recently sighted, so it should be good. You can see the difference that on 10 yards, a sided red dot makes a difference. Two Bravos, one Alpha. Bam, bam, bam. Let's go over to 15 yards. Okay, there's one miss. 
it's still a Bravo zone. But this one was the first one, second one I missed. And this one still was in the A zone. So, yeah, it's not really missed. This is all the Bravo zone. So, Bravo is good. Okay, I was a little shaky with the Alpha, I guess. Oh! Alright. I was even more shaky with the Bravo Zone. Okay, one's out. The other one is in. This makes it one. And the other one, no. And the Alpha, ooh, I missed. I missed by a little. Okay, still close though. Not like this. All right. Got the two Bravos here and here. One, two. But we missed the Alpha by a little. No Alpha. Still a lot more hits than uh, with the PPS. Which should not mean the PPS is bad. It's just Red Dot. That's not really good right now. Watch the other videos. I mean, I put it in between. So you should have seen them before you got here. Um, we were hitting pretty well, um, especially on steel targets. I'm not shooting these today because it's just, yeah, you can hear them. But it's more interest, more interesting to see to see uh, what it makes on a target, especially on the distances. And I think uh, overall, not bad. We're just we're still hitting a whole target. So at 50 yards, even the ones down there, it's still a person that you can hit. Because this, yeah, that's like my whole body. So if you think. A PPS would be a bad choice. I don't really think so. You will be still able to hit a target on 50 yards with a little concealed pistol like this. Just imagine. This is pretty awesome. Plus, the PPS is really comfortable. It's nice to grip. Um, it may be a little snappy because it's a shorter barrel than a longer barrel pistol. That's why I myself, I prefer longer pistols and it's not really hard to conceal um, like a full size pistol or something. Just many people doing it. Um, sometimes it depends on your, on your body, um, on your size, on what you're wearing, what kind of clothes do you have. But still I think um, I would always choose longer barrels. Um, I'm not super comfortable with these small ones. For me, it's even harder to hide them. This one is, is really easy. Um, I had it on earlier and it's you cannot see it print. But still, with my, with my um, full size, it's like a compact PDP, should be a compact pistol, but be honest, um, it's empty, so empty chamber. Let's be honest, it's just not, it does not lock, look like uh, uh, compact pistol. This is more, it feels like a full-size pistol to me. Especially with the long barrel and the compensator on it, it's even longer. So, um, yeah. And with the, with the longer grip. I think it feels more like a full-size gun, but I feel comfortable wearing it. So I hope this gives you enough information about the uh, Walther PPS. And I hope you like it and you try it out, because if you like to carry smaller pistols this should be a nice choice for you yeah the only disadvantage i see is really high is the the ammo capacity it's just not enough rounds my wife and i were thinking about to get a pdpf so you've never heard of the pdpf series that's my pistol the pdp but with a thinner grip so it's ish it's a kind of marketing miss that um, 
Walther did. It's the female version. But what, it, what really makes it female, um, just a smaller grip. There's enough men with smaller hands um, that love this gun. And I myself, I have small hands, so I will, I will try them out. And uh, hopefully we can get one on the channel and uh, make it our new carry gun. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time at Gunny TV.